Hey guys, thanks for stopping by to see what I am up to today. Today I'm going to use the Gocher 720 fly fishing pole as a mast to get my antenna up in the air. I'm going to use some inexpensive cordage that I found at Home Depot and we're going to make a contact. Both of these items, uh, you're going to hear people say won't work. Well, I want you to consider that just because they aren't the most expensive or best piece of kit doesn't mean that they won't work. Let's pretend that this bicycle is a fence post or a tree or a bush or something that's going to help us secure this mast and get our antenna into the air. It is very true that the composition of your mast can make a difference. If it's fiberglass, if it's carbon fiber, if it's aluminum, it will affect your antenna differently. But rather than discard one mast, if it's the one you have, it's the one you have. It's, it's the best one that you can use. Learn the effects of the properties of your equipment and then make the best of it. Let's see if our inexpensive fishing pole and surveyor line do the trick. This video is for the new ham who doesn't know how to make that first contact, who needs a little encouragement. Get out there and make that first contact. One will lead to two, two will lead to three, and so forth. Thanks for dropping by, guys.